So there are a couple of things that set basics of biblical Hebrew off from the other grammars that are out there. I, I guess I should first mention that in the last eight years, there's been an explosion of new Hebrew grammars. You've got uh, Futado's grammar, Garrett's grammar, Ross's grammar, um, you know, Pratico and Van Pelt, and a, and a host of others. And that's, that's a good sign. That says that there's a resurgence in interest in Hebrew and that the evangelical church um, has, uh, has kind of begun to be reinterested in the teaching of the biblical languages in a way that makes sense, actually, to a, a more modern student body, you know, diminished use of Latin, diminished use of weird Hebrew grammatical terms and things like that. Um, and so we're thankful for the resurgence of biblical languages. We're thankful for the abundance of Hebrew grammars. Um, but what sets our grammar apart is a couple of things. One, co-authorship. Right now we're the only grammar out there that has co-authorship, which allows for interaction at the authorial level in terms of refining pedagogy, thinking you know, um, what Gary wanted to do for one set of students and what Miles wanted to do for another set of students and trying to make those merge in a way that would fit both provides a pedagogy that is perhaps um, more tested and well-rounded just in terms of the authorial level. That's one thing. One is in terms of just gifts too, Gary and I have completely different sets of gifts and abilities and putting those two together in an authorship package I think provides a wider, a wider um, or it casts a wider net in terms of the students that we can reach. Um, that's one thing. The other thing is um, there are two types, of, um, two types of people who learn languages and teach languages and are in biblical studies. There's the really smart category and language to them comes naturally. And then there's the, um, those who are disciplined and can work hard but may not necessarily be as academically gifted. I'm definitely in that category. I'm definitely in the I love languages, but I'm one of those guys who, who must work hard, be disciplined. And so I have a compassion for students who, for whom biblical language acquisition is not natural. And I work and have worked hard, and Gary has worked and worked hard to make that accessible to students, to, to anticipate the most basic of questions, to explain with utmost clarity. And so, um, in at least in terms of myself, I come from that tradition of one of the hard workers. Um, uh, we've organized our grammar in such a way that it can be used as a reference grammar afterwards. You know exactly where things are. The nifal is here always. The construct state is here always. Adjectives are here always. You don't have to fish through the grammar in kind of an encyclopedia format to find different parts of things. Um, another thing that makes our grammar, or sets our grammar apart, from perhaps the other ones, which are good, I'm not diminishing all of the other grammars and their usefulness, is that we've actually developed uh, a set of secondary resources for the grammar that is unparalleled to any other system that's out there. In addition to the grammar and the workbook, we have the answer key, we have um, electronic flashcards, we have a box set of flashcards, we have the graded reader, the vocabulary guide, the laminated summary sheet, the um, what else do we have? The Hebrew Survival Kit. We've tried to produce as much material that integrates into the grammar so that students have the facility and the capability in an integrated system to move on and to do other things with Hebrew and to keep their Hebrew up in a way that recognizes where they've come from. So we're building the system incrementally. Um, and in fact, that's the whole point behind this pastor's Hebrew reference grammar, student's Hebrew reference grammar. Where do you go now? And, and now at this point, I'm working on editing for Zondervan that uh, the, maybe an exegetical Hebrew reference grammar, a pastor's Hebrew reference grammar, something students can use beyond the basics of biblical Hebrew.